was a miller who had three sons. When the miller died, he left them everything he owned. I'm glad I own the mill. I'll be a miller. The donkey is mine, and he can work for me. The only thing that I own is this old cake. We have no one else. What are we going to do? Then, to the younger son's surprise, the old cat began to talk. You have always been kind to me, so do as I say from now on, and I will make your fortune. Give me a hat, a pair of boots, and a bag. Then the youngest son did as he was told. Uh, here are your clothes. Here's a hat, some red boots, and a bag. Now I am Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots hurried off with the bag over his shoulder, and left his top at a field, and pulled up a carrot. I will put the bag down here on the ground with the carrot inside and hide behind the, this bush until a rabbit comes along. Soon a rabbit hopped into the bag and then push and push pull the string tight. I will take this rabbit to the king. I know he likes rabbits too. Offer push and push to the king's palace. This is a present from my master, the Marquis of Carabas. I am very pleased with this present. I like rabbits too. Thank you, Master! Every day, Pushin was to more present to the king. He said that they are two from his master, the Marquis of Carabas. Pushin Boots had a plan to make his master's fortune. Go down to the river for a swim. If anyone talks to you, say you are the Marquis of Carabas. I'm going to hide your clothes. No sooner had the youngest son waded into the water the, when the king's coat came along.
Now give some and let's go. I'm gonna go. I'll beat you.